What up, folks? Welcome back to Ultra Soul Toys, and today I have a review of the Star Wars Black Series, Zuckus. So, for a lot of folks, this is the end of the road with the uh, Empire Strikes Back bounty hunters. For me, it is unfortunately not. Because I started late in the game. Uh, so I, I, I'm i still missing IG-88 and Bosk. Who they're both going to re-release at some point in the new... Um, whatever it's called. The new line that they're coming out with <laughs> to re-release figures. So, but here is Zuckus. Uh, and he looks pretty cool. I have Dengar on the way. And uh, we, we will take a look. At the two I do have with him a little bit later, although one's not really much to look at. Um, Zuck is here, comes with this rifle, which really only fits in this hand, uh, for me at least. Um, I guess you can hold it like that, uh, but it doesn't really, you can't really holster, uh, hold it by the holster there. Good. A holster? The handle, good. Um, Interesting rifle. It really looks like a, like a shotgun, which is pretty cool with this little thing on the bottom. Maybe it's a scope. Maybe it is not. I don't know. Um, bottom scope? I, I don't know what that is. But maybe you, if you're big into Star Wars and you know what that is, give me a shout. Let me know. Got some brown there. It's okay. You know, it's a little light brown, but it's, uh, it's not bad. It's sculpted decently. You got some like mold flesh on the bottom there. Um, but not bad, as you saw, he holds it decently in that hand. Bring it in Zuckus. First off, let's look at this cloth. It looks really nice. I really like it. It's an interesting texture and the printing is kinda like a camo, which is cool. A little frayed in there, but that's fine. Uh, it's it's not bad the way it's done underneath just brown on the legs but they're sculpted well I like them a lot so that's cool uh, on the top I don't know too much except for the gloves look really nice oh, and they did texture out his skin which is pretty awesome very nicely done on both sides very cool uh, as far as what's underneath I don't know but we could look a little bit maybe if you care it looks brown to me it might be the same color as the pants uh, I don't want to go too crazy with that over that you got some really nice little armament and straps there nice wash on them really cool you got this piece that's attached on the back here um, that goes in. Maybe it's like some breathing apparatus. Pretty cool there, which is basically this bug head is, looks like a, a whole breathing apparatus type of deal. Um, the eyes look, look really great on him. Bug eyed and nicely done, done in the gun metal, which is cool. You got the mouthpiece, which is same same deal there. Really nice silver. We have more of that gunmetal in the middle. Nice wash all over his head. All the folds and wrinkles are done so well. These are little these tubings that go to the back here. That's pretty cool. And um, like some air tubings in there. See the exhaust on the back. Really nice. I love all the wrinkles back here. Really cool. You got this like tube back here, not back here, and front here, which looks nice. The silver is picked out well in there. So pretty cool. I really like I like the, the gloves a lot. They're nice. <laughs> this is a really nice figure. Very nicely done. Good job. Articulation, head, got some movement back and forth, side to side. You do have an ab crunch in there, but it's hard to make it do a lot of what you want. Hint swivel at the shoulder, only hindered by this a bit. Swivel at the bicep, double jointed elbow, hinge swivel Ugh. at the wrist, tight. 
Splits, whoa! Hey, hey you! Who knew? Zen Master. Nice. Zuckus kicks out that much. Goes back even. Swivel at the thigh. Double joint to the knee. And you get ankle, rocker, and hinge. So, very nice. I'm really surprised that that's those splits. <laughs> Looks pretty awesome, uh, and the articulation, you know, even though it's hindered in some spots, it works pretty good. So, like I said, let's uh, start to size comparisons with Boba Fett. Now, this is not a legit Boba Fett. This is a uh, bootleg Boba Fett. I just needed a stand-in, you know. I I'm looking forward. I do have a uh, Moffex Boba Fett as well for this scale. But I wanted to bring, because this is, is the Star Wales, or whatever it was called. Uh, he does stand in as my uh, Black Series Boba Fett, and it doesn't look bad. Uh, my only real issue with it is, like, the thighs are not well articulated. And I don't know how much of a difference that is from the regular Momo. But here's Four Alarm. He's legit. And he's too legit to quit, actually. He's amazing. This is a, an amazing, amazing figure. So... Let's, let's get that guy out of here because he's a little bit of offensive. These two, man, these two should be, uh, we got some good team up with these guys for sure. Um, bug family team up here. Really, really slick. Definitely going to do some photography with them. I, I, I love how they look together. So pretty awesome. So, you know, I'm getting there, I'll get there. Have some other size comparisons. Here is Cool as Ice Princess Leia. And, uh, the uh, robot from Solo, whose name escapes me, LV426. It's not LV426. Um,. <laughs> We got uh, Captain Commander, Dude Wolf, Air Wolf, looking pretty cool. Now we got Spidey, PS4 Spidey. You can see how that looks together. And oh, how about this guy? Godzilla 1954. Why not? And that, my friends, is my review for Zuckus. A really cool figure. I believe this is a Disney Store exclusive as well. Um, don't quote me on that, but I think it is, but, uh, I was able to get him on the DisneyStore.com, and I am glad to have him. He is a really nice figure, so very awesome. Let me know your thoughts on this one, and if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, peace out, peeps.